Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll continue with the hook scroll events. And um, the previous uh, video, we talked about hook scroll event. But before I continue, I want to quickly correct something here. Um, the last thing we did was to kind of make changes or save. We saved this and had um, a status change here from something else. Okay, this is what I did. I had this changed from okay, that reloaded. I had this change when the status is sales. I had it changed from flat to condo or duplex or something. I'm gonna have this changed. And error occurred. Yeah, we have this error occurred based on the code we wrote here. Validate. But there's an issue here. This will work fine when we are in the doc type property. How about trying another doc, uh, doc type like expense claim or something else other than that property? You will encounter an issue. I believe some of you must have encountered the issue, but let us try and see what I'm talking about. You click on test employee uh, on the expense claim document and you try to save or make changes to a document. I'm going to make changes so it can save and hit the save button. Um, you're going to experience something. It says app method is not installed. Why did we encounter this error? You come back to your hooks file and check this first dictionary here it has to be commented out because there is no app. This is just a framework for you to know how to use the document event. You should comment it out. Um, restart your server and go again. The document should properly load this time around. Okay, we can try saving the document again and see if it saves with no issue. Okay, beautiful. This saved. Now we're going to head back into the main topic of this section. First, we are talking about crowd event. That is what happens whenever an event occurs in a doc type. And we have several events that could occur in a doc type to have a hold of the event or have an idea of what it seems to be. You go back to this documentation, click on doc types, and click on controller method. Recall, we talked about server scripts. We have server scripts and we have hooks events. We have method controller. The method controller file is the main doc type the main doc type property this main this one here is called what the controller method the controller method server script and hook scrot is the same thing that they are all the same thing the difference is that this method controller you write it directly inside the doc type python file then the server script is written directly inside the system as server scripts and the excuse me and the hooks or crud method is written directly inside the hooks.py file in the document events dictionary. Okay. And some of the events that could take this, you have this list of events before submit, before cancel, as I stated earlier, I will not spend much time re explaining this. Okay, the first thing I want to do in this event is first I have worked on validate. I want to comment this validate so it will not stop the flow of control. I'll pass here. The next event I want to pass is um to be on update. Okay, I'm gonna work on update. So that will be defined on update doc comma event and say once this document has been updated update means a document that is already saved or is about to be saved and there is a change in the document example if i add some characters here and click on save this is an update there is an update to this document that is what an update serves I want such that whenever there's an update document, an event will occur. I only just want to print some content to it. 
and what should that be? Okay, I would say was this document is updated. Just show me. All I want to hear is that. Okay. All I want is that this document has been printed, has been updated by the owner. That's all I wanted print out. I want printed out whenever there is an update to this document. At the same time, I could try to see the event type using this. This is four line spacing. I want four line spacing before and after the print message. Okay, no message printed because um the changes was not signed. We have to restart the server and try once more. Okay, I could try saving the document again by making small change and save. Okay, no change once more. I could check to know why there is no change. Okay, the simple reason why there was no change is because we have not added this for update to the hooks. You can go straight to the property hooks in the hooks.py file. Add the direct path to the executable code on updates. On updates. On updates. Copy this, paste it here. This serves as the same because this is the part, the app, the module, the doc type, the doc type name, the file, the event.py, and the function to be executed, events.py. You add that so this method could be recognized. Then you can try saving your document once more. Yeah, um, it's working anyway because we still need to restart the server for the changes to be recognized. Okay, I'm going to try that to save one small key. Okay, okay let me change the document. And nice, we have message printed here. It says 003 has been updated by administrator. Administrator is the owner of the document. We check through the database. You see there's a colon called a uh, colon named owner. That's just it for the update. And how about we having a situation whereby when you insert create a new property document another document will be automatically created say we use the notes the note document in frappe or erp next is used for um, how would i call it for message passing on notification it's kind of this doc type that allows you to send that message to the users it on every login on login for every users you have a message at the top that says it's yeah it's kind of a broadcast that says okay there's a meeting at social time or wherever a meeting at social time of the day or of the night or something okay i'm gonna create a notes document here i'll just call it test notes make it public so everyone can see just write something tests in it take note of the variables the title and um, public and content i'll save that and refresh this you find it here what i want is whenever i insert a property document a note to be created saying that a property has been added and that should broadcast it on the system and how do I do that? First, I'm going to test creating a note. Um, I'm going to test creating a note using the bench console. Okay. Bench console. First thing I'll do is create a variable called notes that's in frappy.getdoc. You can use frappy.newdoc. New doc. Or property dot get doc. Okay, I'm gonna make it a dictionary. 
first thing I'm going to type, the first key pair value will be a uh, key value pair will be doc type. The name of the doc type is note. Second thing is title. I'll call it the title will be bench console notes. Then the public should it be public? Yeah, that should be true. The last should be the content. What should be the content? I'll write test contents. Okay, this should be good to go. Note, I'm gonna test the note content to be sure. Notes the title. Okay, bench console. Right, the spelling is not correct, but has no meaning here. To save, you say note dot insert, and to make sure it's probably inserted into the database, I'll say frappy dot db dot commit. Save. We exit this and check my system. Refresh. Um, you have what we have just created from the terminal. Well. All I want to do is create it whenever I insert new property. I want this information created, that needs created. And how can I do that? From the controller, I have what we call after inserts. This is called after the document is inserted into the database. So I'm going to create a method called after insert in our events. Define after insert doc event okay create note on property insert okay i would say note is assigned property dot get doc Okay. okay, no need to copy, I'll just start afresh. Doc type is notes. The title is doc, the property we just added, dot name. Add it. Next is public. When you say true, it should be a public note. And the next thing should be the content. I want the content to be the property doc dot description. Property description. And that's it. The next thing is to save note dot insert. And often not necessary, you can just commit db.commit, often not necessary. Then the next thing I want to do is to print a message that this document has been added by saying frappy.db.commit. I'm sorry, frappy.messageprint. Okay. I would say notes dot title has been created and save the proper thing to do once you save this is restart the server. It may or may not restart, but I'll restart it to be sure. Then read through my code once more. I have once this property is, um, once an event or document has been inserted, I want to create a note. And after creating the note, print this message. But at the same time, you still have to add this to the event list of this property doc type. I'm going to add it to the event list. And we after inserts, after inserts. 
save, restart my server once more. And clear this. Back to my Okay, I'm going to have this duplicated. Could also copy Lorem Ipsum, Lorem Ipsum for the description. And save. Okay, not saved yet. It could be that the server has not properly started. Okay, and um, we have an event here on updates took place. An update event took place. So I have to check because this property wasn't saved. I have to try once more to be sure. Okay, saved and you have the first event document is zero to inserted successfully. That came from the controller method. The controller method this. Then the other one zero zero two has been created successfully. It came from the event. Um, created successfully. Yes, after inserts. That's where that came from. And this zero zero three has been updated by the administrator. Came from the what? on updates and i hope you've learned a little about this we can check to be sure that the notes were successfully created here you can refresh this note um refresh okay the notes wasn't added but we could check why it did not add from the terminal to see if there is an error Okay, I'm going to really check how it has been created. 0023 has been created. Although I could not find it, but it should have created here. I'm going to reload this. Oh well, we could still check the code to see if there's an issue from the code itself. Here, yeah, node, insert, public. Okay, our uh, node insert should be. A function have this open and close brace else it will not work I'm gonna close stop the server and restart it once more to test it um, here I'm gonna duplicate this document once more once duplicated I could say property node one I'll leave the rest as it says save okay document of the text of 0024 has been created and we can check the note lists refresh and successfully added this is a note created from our after insert event you could see the content coming from content is assigned what document or description so briefly this is how you can actually work on creating a document uh, programmatically from the background based on events and we can go back to our event we have validate on update after inserts and in our hooks we have in the event docs we have property you could also do that for other property types like expense claim then here you add whatever event you want action to be performed based on its forever execution uh, i'll stop here for the now in the next i'm gonna in the next video section i'm gonna work on sending out email when an event occurs in a document and thanks for watching i please hope you do like it and please do like and subscribe